This is a video on uh, what used to be the Artillery 3D printer. I guess they renamed it. Um, I've heard due to a bit tough sometimes to ship things called Artillery to various countries. Anyway, um, it comes pretty well wrapped. I've already taken some uh, cardboard sides off. But um, I'll make a few videos about assembling this. Supposedly there's not a lot to assembling it. So uh, we'll see what it looks like. Okay, this is everything. Came with a little uh, toolbox um, frame. I guess that's the uh, Z-axis. The base. Some a power cord. Some manuals. Uh, totally funny. Do not remove this before finish assembly. Oops, already removed it. Um, so, we'll see what it takes to assemble this. Okay, I have the XZ gantry on. There are four 45 millimeter bolts supplied. They come up through the bottom. Um, you do need to pry a little bit to the outside, j just a tiny bit, and it'll pop right down into it. There are some small little connectors. You make sure you don't crush those. Well, that wasn't too bad. It took me about 20 minutes. There's a few fiddly bits, um, namely these F PC cables, um, but they go in okay. I don't have the, I guess there's some early ones that had a snap, kind of a thing to hold it. This one doesn't have it, so it's ready to power up. And let's see what happens. We're supposed to be uh, going to go preheat the bed and then level it. Um, but otherwise, it's a pretty quick assembly. Like I said, about 20 minutes. Um, I don't have any filament loaded. I'm just going to level it and uh, then look into the software side. So I have the Artillery Sidewinder X1 printing. I have a X calibration print and I found some really old filament. You can hear some pops from the moisture in it, but mostly wanted to make sure I had the bed level and um, how quiet it was to get a print running. So the hardest thing was going into Cura. So this is Cura 4.41 I think. And uh, so I used their profile and put in the bed size which is 300 by 300 and 400 in the Z and uh, as you can see right off the bat I'm up and printing. So I'm trying to be a little quiet here so you can hear. It is pretty quiet. So this is the first layers or first level probably it's like I'm 10% into it. Um, Leveling it was fairly straightforward, uh, you know, heat it up. I did leave the outer ones a little tight when I put the piece of paper under it um, because the center was a little loose. So, But it looks like it's printing just fine. However, I have to say I think I agree with those that I saw on YouTube that it's still a little tight. It seems like it puts a little extra tension on pulling this. I know several of the guys um, that I saw on YouTube replaced the spool holder and actually some of them got rid of the filament sensor 